Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to whip up some guacamole super quick and super easy. So I absolutely love guac. I think it is so delicious. I'm obsessed with it. I put it on seriously everything. Uh, if you've never tried it before, you need to try it right now. If you've ever been turned off by the green color or the motion consistency, you need to try it right now. My boyfriend was always really turned off by it, never tried it, thought it looked gross and just wasn't really into it. But once I got him to try it, he was like, wow, this is so good. And now he eats it all the time. So technically guac is a dip, but I really hate to even call it that because it is so much more than like cheese and mayo and God knows whatever else thrown into a bowl. It actually is so good for you. What you usually hear about is how it's really rich in healthy fats, which is totally true, and that's because it's basically just made out of avocados, and avocados are really rich in healthy fats, and that's great because you need fat, your body needs fat, so you might as well get all that fat from healthy sources to don't be at your healthiest. But what people don't usually talk about, it is, it is so rich and so packed with antioxidants. So how I make my guac is just with five simple ingredients. I use, obviously, avocado, duh, tomato, onion, garlic, and lime. Before we run through the how-to for this video, I just want to quickly run through the benefits of all of these ingredients and, and guacamole in general because, duh, that's my favorite part. That's why I make these videos. I'm all about the health aspect. So to start us off, tomato and avocados are super rich in carotenoids, and all carotenoids are are natural pigments, it's what gives um, our food it's their colors, but they're also antioxidants. And what antioxidants do is go around the body and decrease any oxidative stress or inflammation that's going on, which is going to help you fight off diseases, because that's normally how diseases start. Next, the onion is super rich in polyphenols, specifically flavonoids, and these are again just antioxidants, so they're going to decrease oxidative stress and inflammation in our bodies and help us fight off diseases such as heart disease and cancer which you see so much in America and also a slew of other diseases. And lastly the garlic, my favorite, is super rich in sulfur containing compounds and what these fancy compounds do again is just decrease the oxidative stress and inflammation in our body which is how diseases start. So by having all of these ingredients that are full of disease fighting power, you really just by making guacamole you have this amazing combination of all of these super disease fighting foods. So I mean it's just great. Why wouldn't you want to eat it, right? There are so many benefits to eating guacamole and it's so delicious so I mean you really just can't pass it up. And just really quickly I'm going to give you two little tips on how to make the process of making guacamole go by super quickly. So my first tip is to use avocados when they're really soft. I usually start to, I usually make guacamole when my avocados have gotten like so soft to the point where I'm like not totally sure if I want to eat them. I'm kind of like, oh, it's a little soft. Kind of like what you do with bananas when they get really soft, you make banana bread. So make sure they're really soft. It's so easy to scoop them out and mash them up. It'll make your life so much easier. And my second tip is to use a food chopper. This will make your life so much easier. You literally just throw the ingredients under this, go to town, and it just dices them up so quickly. You don't need to sit there with a knife forever and finely dice all the ingredients. You just stick it under here, pop, 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 and you're good to go. I hope that you guys enjoy this how-to. I had so much fun doing it. I just absolutely love guacamole. It's so delicious and so good for you. So, I mean, there's really no reason to pass it up. If you've never tried it, absolutely try it right now. And if you do already love it, now you have even more reasons to love it. So, without further ado, let's get to the how-to. So, as I stated before, we're going to be using avocado, garlic, onion, you can use white or red, it doesn't really matter, lime, tomato, and then some salt and pepper. So then we're just going to go ahead and slice the avocados in halves. I'm using a chef's knife to do this. It's a big knife, you know, makes it pretty easy. And then my pit kind of flew out on this one. You can't even see it flying. If that doesn't happen though, which it probably won't, just go ahead and squeeze it a little bit and the pit will pop right out. I'm just going to make some slices into the avocado. This is just going to help us when we go to scoop all of the um, avocado out later on into our bowl. And as you can see, I'm just scooping it with a spoon. It's pretty easy if you use a spoon. And you want to make sure that with that spoon, you really scrape all of that really dark green avocado left in the skin. This is the most carotenoid rich area. Like I said, uh, carotenoids are natural pigments. So obviously where it's darker, it's going to be more carotenoid rich. And we want as many antioxidants in this dip as possible. So just go ahead and scoop that all in there. Then now that we have all of our avocado in the bowl, we're next going to take a lime and what I like to do first is just kind of roll it. This is just going to break up a lot of the membranes inside and allow the juice to come out a lot easier when we go to squeeze it. 
So I'm just going to slice that baby in half. Uh, I'm using a half a lime. I like mine pretty limey. You can play with this. It's totally up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So I'm just going to squeeze that half a lime in there. And once I get as much juice out as I can, I'm just going to go ahead and stir it, mix that juice around, distribute that acid, and that's just going to help break down the avocado even more to make it easier to mush later on. And then I'm just going to set that aside, let that acid do its job. And then taking a little clove of garlic, and using my big fat chef's knife, I'm just going to squish the crap out of it using my hands. And this is just going to make it a lot easier to take that outer papery layer off. So as you can see, I'm just going to pull that off. And then using our little food chopper, we're just going to go to town, chop, chop, chop. And this makes it so easy to chop up the garlic. It seriously takes two seconds. So once that's all done, just going to shake out the rest, scoop it up with my knife, throw it in the bowl, and we are moving on. So next I'm taking a tomato. I'm gonna slice up about half of it. Again, it's up to you. You can put in as much or as little as you want. Just gonna slice up half and then using my food chopper, I'm going to stack these little slices up first and then I'm just going to start chopping it like I did before with the garlic. And then after you chop it within the chopper, you may have to go back in and just kind of chop up the skin because that's a little tougher. It's a little hard for that to get in there. Uh, and really break up that skin layer. So then again, just taking it, throwing it in the bowl, and moving on. Now we're slicing up an onion. You can also use a food processor for this step, you, or for you know chopping up these ingredients. You don't need a food chopper, but I don't know, something about that whipping out that whole machine just makes it seem more intense and not as quick and easy. So I like using this food chopper because it's just, you know, really easy. So then you know what to do. Chop, chop, chop. Finally dice that up. And then once that's all chopped, we're going to go ahead and scoop that up again and just give this a nice mix. You want to distribute all of the ingredients really, really well and just really mush that avocado up. And of course, you can use garlic powder and onion powder if you want. A lot of people do do that, but you're going to be missing out on all those amazing antioxidant benefits because that does not exist in the powder form. Then taking some black pepper, again, just to taste as much as you want, and also some salt as much as you want just to taste. Sprinkle that on there and give it another really good mix. Just make sure everything is really distributed evenly. All the flavors you really just want to mesh together. And now for my favorite part, you obviously have to taste test everything that you make. So I'm just going to take a little tortilla chip and go to town. It's good, isn't it? It's really cold. It's really good. 